Parvati means. Can you explain to me? Krishna, gravity is the force that pull all physical objects that have mass towards the earth. Yes, all of us have mass, so we are drawn to the earth. Like a piece of steel is drawn to a magnet. If not, we would float off into the space. A very good evening to the honorable judges, teachers, parents, fellow contestants, distinguished guests, and fellow friends. We, the young Newtons, are going to present our own water irrigation system using Newton's law of universal gravitation. My name is Vaishnavi Saravanan. I am Ravina Srinanda Kumar. I am Krishna Saravanan. We are the young Dear friends, very often we grow beautiful house plants and healthy vegetable garden with consistent watering schedule. Have you ever wondered a way to continue supply of water to this land while you are not at home a period of time? Yes! Now we are going to demonstrate our own DIY water irrigation system by using Newton's law of universal gravitation. We will now look into the items used in producing this plant irrigation system. We will need 3 bottles of 4 liter used Hari Raya biscuit containers. This is used to retain water. 4 meters of fish tank oxygen tubes which will be used as a conductor to flow the water from the containers to the plants. 12 oxygen valves used to control the volume of the water flow. 9 oxygen splitters to split and segregate the water flow to the plants. Any sharp object can make a hole below the containers. And finally, we need a glue gun to seal the tubes to the containers. First, we need to drill a small hole on the bottom of the container and install a 15cm tube to the container to avoid leakage. Next, to ensure the container is waterproof, we need to seal it with glue gun. After that, we need to attach the splitters to the end of the tube. Once done, we need to attach two more tubes measuring approximately 30cm to each end. Moving on, we need another two more splitters to be attached to each of these tubes so that we will have more tubes to water the plants. Next, we need to attach the valves to the end of each tube to ensure continuous control of water flow. Depending on the size of the plants and weather such as sunny or rainy season, we can decide the volume of water for each plant by controlling the valves. We are now done with the first container. We need to repeat the same to the rest of the two containers. Now we will show you how this water irrigation system works. We need to pour the water into the containers. The water will then flow through the tube attached with the container to the plants. You can see the water dripping down through the walls. The same can be done with many containers depending on the number of plants you water while you are not at home. This is an easy DIY system to ensure that your plants at home receive the right amount of water to avoid them from drying and dying. But Bear in mind, while looking into these, you must also ensure that mosquitoes does not breed in here. Hence, you have to cover the container. Not only that, we need to cover the containers so that evaporation doesn't happen. Yes, you are right Krishna.